this computer. Perfect. Okay. So welcome. Here we are on our social media class. And the one thing when I started uh, and I sent the email and I was so excited about, it was basically the class I wanted to teach today. It was mostly about a different approach to the way we are relating to social media. So most of us are um, very used to um, having a website or I mean, I'm sorry, our social uh, has a lot of listings. We have our own listings. We have someone else's listings. We have photos of houses and more houses. Uh, once in a while, we probably do the market report. And then some of you do photos of you, which I applaud you because um, remember the social is about people knowing you. And um, others uh, probably share some you know, different things uh, like hobbies you have and stuff like that. But overall, um, for whatever reason, and I always say that the trends are made by famous people that are doing things in one way and everybody tends to follow, right? So, um, but what happens to those people and some of them are the, it, those are people that are already been in the community or they've been like very well known for a long, long time, even before social media uh, existed. So uh, for them to keep just putting a portfolio of properties um, is basically uh, just, you know, doing the old thing. Now, what happened when you are not that agent? What happened when your exposure, or your social media is not known by all those people and you still want to use social media for what is used today, which is the best uh, tool um, to our, our, you know, the new way of doing online marketing, because we all know online, you know, we all know marketing, right? So back in the day, we used to have TV, newspapers and magazines, radio, printers, newsletters, phone calls, and networking events. And it's funny because I'm actually saying this about like the old way, um, and especially because well, all these new things that happen, um, even the network events, at least in the last three months, have been change that does not mean that we're gonna it's gonna be the new norm but definitely there's gonna be a change on everything so that's the old let's call it the old way of doing marketing okay uh i'm not saying that all is bad i'm just saying that old is basically old okay and it still works yes of course and there's the new way which is not actually right now but it's been happening as a trend for the last few years and that's when tv replaces is being replaced by youtube your newspaper and magazines have been replaced by, by um, websites. Your radio has been replaced by podcasting. Uh, the printed newsletter has been replaced by email. And the phone calls has been replaced by DMs on Facebook and Instagram. And the networking events has been replaced by Facebook groups. And I will repeat this again. It does not mean that those old ways do not exist. Now we are in a moment in which we are all coexisting, okay? Um, but it's true that different generations and different uh, work and interact in a different way. And every single day, uh, and I, you know, I call a few, I mean, if you call an agent today or if you call most people, you will hear the message saying, hey, you know, I'm not here right now. Um, if you want to be me to reach you, please send me a text. If you want for a faster response, send me a text, right? So they're basically saying, and probably most of you do, right away you say, for a faster response, send me a text. So we are even sending people that whoever calls us, we direct them again to texting or to WhatsApp or to DM. So we are going to the digital over and over again. The way, um, we are in our phones, and you have heard me saying this, and you probably hear many other people saying the same. You are always on your phone, and um, and this is why today is a is, is we're living in an incredible moment, and in so many ways, because before, for someone to actually be able to have an ad on TV was literally outrageously expensive. Okay, advertising agencies and all you know the cost of our TV advertising is ridiculous. Or it used to be and probably it is still today. And today you have Netflix. So people opt in for having a way of streaming what they want to see without interruptions. Um, a funny story is like my brother, you know, all of a sudden he decided to go back and see Lost, which is a TV show that I think it was it's been very old. And um, so uh, I was surprised because I was seeing that at his house and it has commercials. I said, I, and I asked him, I say, 
you do not have TV, uh, you do not have cable. And he says, no, this is Netflix. And why Netflix has advertising? And then he says, because it's a very old show. And um, so it was peculiar that how, you know, you know, places like Netflix are still like now trying to integrate uh, on some of their events and, and broadcasting uh, the, 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 the commercials. But so today we all have a way to have our own TV show, right? And that's YouTube. And, and most people, um, I know they're still like very hesitant about video, but today is, um, today is basically uh, the way of the future. You can have your own living room as a product as your set you do not need um i'm sorry let me give me one second please um and then um so it's very basically simple that you can start broadcasting and having your own youtube channel same thing with um, you know your website and podcasting. Podcasting is basically a version in which you, instead of doing a, if you are a camera shy, a way to have some impact on people is podcasting because when you po podcast, uh, basically they're not seeing you. It's just like a radio show. And um, you know you all know how much I talk about email marketing and um, it's a whole new uh, category because email marketing is, um, what basically allows you to own regardless of what happens to facebook instagram or any other or you know TikTok or or whatever new thing comes the emails are the one thing that you can control and regardless of everything we all use emails so but that's a different um a different class altogether and then of course we have facebook and instagram so the class today it was about being efficient with our new online marketing and I say new because I want to focus basically in the trends of the future. Um, why? Because that's what the industry and not only our industry, that's where we all going. Okay. So one of the things, and I wanted to, I wanted to know if you guys can put on the chat, how many of you can actually, or have used the new creative studio. That's something that Facebook offers. I just, I'm interested to see how many of you can, um, have used it, Creative Studio. It's just basically a yes or no. You can type it on the chat. And I'm going to say something right now. Mireya, uh, you keep requesting something that you cannot request. So I keep receiving this pop up message. So no, 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 no. Awesome. So this class is going to be great <laughs> if you have not used Creative Studio. Um, because I told you that I wanted to be efficient. And one of the things that I want to be efficient with is your time. And why do I want to be efficient with your time? Because uh, most of the time, I know that especially on social media, on marketing in general, you guys don't do as much because of a time issue. It always goes back to the time issue. And it's like, I don't have enough time. I don't know, um, like, you know, it's too confusing and I forgot, I have this deal happening and it's always the same. No matter what, it's always the same. The conversations are over and over the same. And uh, I'm not saying that you're not busy, of course you are, and I want you to be super busy. But like I said, if you're always concentrating on the deal that you have in your hands and you're not working on your marketing, that deal is gonna close, that deal is gonna end, and what is gonna happen to you? So, give me one second. I don't know, I'm getting all these weird messages. So, um, when you have that situation in which you are um, like doing, 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 and the marketing part because of uh, sometimes it's technological issues, sometimes it's I don't know what to post. Uh, we have a bunch of, uh, and I don't want to say excuses, but we have a bunch of reasons why we do postpone. I know there are some of you, even in this class, that are very active, that are very organized, that already um, have your calendar that you already have your post and then you post things on a regular basis and you have them all scheduled. 
So for that, I applaud you. Um, but I know that it's not the majority of you, okay? So that's what I decided to do this class, and that's what I decided to give you the gift. So as you're looking in my screen right now, okay, um, what you're looking is to the gift that I'm gonna give you. And I'm gonna start by doing this, and please let me know, if you, are you all seeing a page that says Get Social? I just need an answer from one of you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna start first with the, and I, I'm gonna let you know that, like I said, the class is gonna be recorded, and I actually um, have little videos, when I say little, uh, very little, very short, that explains how to access Creative Studio. So one of the first things that I wanna say about Creative Studio is, let me show you, this is Creative Studio, okay? So Creative Studio is basically um, the new way that Facebook has for creators, okay? And this is important to manage their, webs their Instagram and Facebook um, posts. Why this is important? Because we can do both things in one place. And why it's even better? Because we can do it from the computer. And this is amazing. Okay, so time is, is such a, of, of a time saver that is incredible. The one thing, and this is what I mentioned it before, and this is what I think on the video that I created, I told you how to create a page um, and not to have your personal profile because you do have to be a business. So your page on social and, and Instagram and Facebook have to be a business page. It cannot be your personal page. If you have a personal page, you will not be able to access Creative Studio. So that, I mean, if you have questions, I mean, you will have the videos to how to create your page. And I wanna talk a little bit about that and, and why the switch. So um, mostly the switch, and this is what I did. I did this, this, this website here that you see, South Miami Living, um, with the purposes of having something to show you. And, um, and I did it with, a, with an intention. It doesn't have my name because we, what I want you to think on this new approach, we're gonna be looking in social media as a way to communicate in two ways. And we're gonna be doing it, like either we can be selling all the time, which most of the time, as you know, because you do it too, when someone is selling you, selling you, selling you, you try to avoid that situation, person, or moment. We don't want to be sell all the time. We really don't. So, but what happens when someone gives you content? Once, what happens when you uh, have a place that will give you information about the community you live? When you have relationships, marketing, which is what I wanna call this, is all about building things. It's not about just selling things. Selling is an act that happens because you're building relationships, okay? Because other thing that I've seen in more than 20 years in the real estate industry, which is the one that I know very much, is that, uh, and this happens because I actually asked this question many, many times over the years to different agents, is like, how many transactions have you done? Or how, um, you know, how did you keep you know, contact with your clients? And most people, or a lot of them, let me say that, um, they'd say to me, well, you know, no, I sold the house, you know, they rented something and, you know, no, I actually, of most of them, I don't ever knew anything. Um, some of you probably become friends with your clients, but there's a very mix and match uh, pool there. And, and the part is because we're not building relationships. We're not going the extra mile to actually make that person, once they are our clients, for them to keep being our acquaintance or friends or, or you know, and invite us to, our, to their weddings and, you know, to their kids' birthdays and stuff like that. So when we go that deep into a relationship, we are never to be moved, okay? So it's never the people that, oh, my clients is unfaithful. This is something that I also hear a lot. Sometimes we need to make a peace with our situation and, uh, you know, be honest with ourselves and say, you know what, I have not been reaching them enough. And of course, someone else was in a conversation with them and having co coffee and all of a sudden they sold the house or they bought a house with someone else. Um, but that's because we were not in their minds all the time. Okay, so 
the reason why I come to this and I actually create the pages for your samples today with the name of a community in this case is because I'm going to be teaching you on building relationships, not building sales, okay? Building relationships. Sales is what you know how to do. Building relationships is what I do know how to do. You need both. You need the sales and you need the relationships, okay? So when, and there's reasons why. I mean, we as agents uh, need to comply with different rules, okay? And the different rules are, one of them is the uh, fair housing. So, and we cannot segment in, um, when we do advertising on Facebook. The way to go around that is when we are uh, doing advertising on posts that are not related to real estate, we can bypass that because we are not doing real estate. We are just basically informing a community, okay? So this is why it's very important that you remember that you will be, it's like, you, it's like if you're con, kind of being a social fig, um, public figure, and in this case, more than a figure, I rather you be like the community. And I know this because I have some of you here. I know one of you have your uh, social, which is living and break all or something like that. Um, and so it's related to the lifestyle. It's related to, um, this is why I put South Miami living. I live in South Miami. So I just wanted to place it out there. The photo, of course, is mine, but the content that will be there will be all related to South Miami living. Okay, South Miami living, not only as far as what, what to do, which would be that relationship marketing, but also to real estate in South Miami. So that's why, if you look, I created this Instagram as South Miami living, and I created the, the twin in uh, Facebook, the South Miami living. So that's the first change on naming. People want to know about the places they live. They actually, honestly, besides your mom and your cousin and your kids, they don't want to know too much about you. I mean, we know, you know, I love to know about you, but I'm talking about reaching other people. The best, especially when they don't know you, the best way of doing it is by going with community. Okay. So that being said, um, we are here right now in Creative Studio. So as I mentioned to you before, you can see that you can, this is Facebook and this is Instagram. You just basically switch colors. But in this moment in my computer, I am accessing both, okay? So they have the same structure as before. So you have, you can see the, in, the insights, you can see the inbox in which it will be any messages that you have. And the good thing is like an email kind of way. Right, so one of the biggest thing on engagement on social media is that we answer to the people that is actually interacting with us. So by working with the Creative Studio, you have the option to, first of all, have it in your computer, and also there is an application that you can download on your phone, and you have everything concentrated there. Is the place that you post, is the place that you answer, you answer to your instant messages, you answer to your post comments, you answer to the DMs, so it's really a hub on which everything is concentrated. That means that we don't lose time jumping from one application to the other one and seeing what's happening in one place and don't happen in another. And also, since you're here, I mean, it's very easy to jump when you want to create advertising. So that's why I think that this was a very smart way of Facebook actually helping creators and when I say creators, it's because this, again, is not for the general public, okay, that they're posting photos of their kids and their dogs. This is for people that is using Facebook and Instagram for business, okay? So that's uh, something very important that I want to clarify right now, because if you do not have your business page on Instagram or your, bis or your page on, on, on Facebook, after this class, you need to do it and you, you have a way, if you look at the video, to understand how you do, you're gonna do. So this is about being efficient. So I'm gonna go now to, how can you gonna be efficient? So I'm gonna jump back to, hold on. Um, so now we're gonna go back to my Canva. And when I mentioned the gift, this is the gift you're gonna receive. I have created more than 35 posts, okay? 
which have absolutely everything and it will be divided on all the subjects that you will need to have a month of content, okay? And even you have what, empty things like this and like this and, and different ways of doing things, which I'm gonna go over um, because I already did with you guys a class in Canva. So if you don't have it, I recommend that you go to YouTube and you find that class because it's there. Um, Canva is free. Okay, I do have a pay version. My version is, is a pro and I do have that because I use it a lot. And um, so you might not have access to some of the photos that you see because you, for that you have to have pro or you, you know, it might ask you to pay. Well, so since you're here in the class, you're going to receive, um, I'm gonna put it on the chat, the link so you can download the templates. The templates are good, are, are, are yours forever. And, and so basically it's very simple to work around this. And I'm gonna show you here because I was already working that yesterday to show you, right? So this fertile post is basically the same as this one. Did you know? It's just I, make it, I made it a change. So what did I do? Um, I want you to concentrate when you receive this template. And if you have opened the, the one that I sent a few weeks ago with three posts that I created for you guys based on an article, you will receive all this. And most of the time, when you go to the notes, you will have the caption that you can use. In this case, I'm saying talk about something that is happening in your city, community, or neighborhood. At the end, you close with, you know, what do they like to know? So this is something that I will put there or it's a note so you understand what you have to be doing with this thing, okay? So now this is basically a, a way of, nav Canva, I'm not gonna go deep into how to change it to your brand, but I can change in Canva basically everything. I have optimal colors here, so if I were to change it to blue, I can do that. I can change the font and I can come here, go back to the brand and change it on, I don't know, dark blue. And, and, and that's something that on the another class I'm gonna be doing about branding, um, I'm gonna tell you because you can uh, have all the colors change so if it's your brand and not my brand. So this here, like Fertov is open, is something that you will see on my Creative Studio. I put it last night for you to see. Uh, it was a schedule to come up today and today's the 13th, no, tomorrow. So this is a beautiful thing because I, on this class, with the gift that I'm gonna give you, you will be able to have your entire month of social media done in a few hours because you will literally schedule for every day to come up. You will upload it, you will put it up, and that's it. No more going around, did I put the post, did I did it, did I didn't do it? No, 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 it will be done, okay? So this is why for me it was a very important thing because I know that time for you guys, it is an issue. So this is a sample of how, you know, what did I do? I basically yesterday went and I live in South Miami. So the virtual is open. I love that park. And I went to the website, which is here. And I look at the virtual. I literally grab a copy and paste this content. And I came here and hold on. Where am I? Always happens to me. Oh, here. And I came here, no. Beautiful, when you get lost in your own thing. Here. Uh, and I put it here, right? So I copy and edit it, and then it was done. So now I don't have to worry about what, is gonna, what I'm gonna do tomorrow, it's already done. And for the social media that I mentioned, you have like here, you have every day it will say sales, which is related to real estate. In this case, it's five tips to a smooth move. You can here put, I put something for you when it's time to move, you can change it, okay? This is just basically something that I put really fast. What, how do I do it? I went to Google and Google five you know, steps to uh, have a smooth, smooth um, move. And of course, I got a bunch of answers. I just copy, boom, paste, done, moving on. So. Um, then you have the one that is relationships, name of business. What does it mean relationships? You all live in the city. So be the hub. So people is actually saying, oh my God, look, I didn't know about this, you know, new place to do my nails uh, or to, you know, uh, get my, fi my, my clothing fixed or whatever. And um, so you will promote a business by, the, you know, and then you will, you can either talk about the business 
and uh, or something else. But most of the time, if you talk about the business, you can actually go to the business and even talk to the owner. You can even interview them, okay? So you can use video with them and have it for either this post or future post. And that way you engage. You will actually ask them to, you know, tag them. And when you tag them and, or you hashtag them, so guess what? Now you will show up and people that follow them will come, you know, can be following you. So it's about creating relationships, okay? So all the posts about other businesses is all about relationships. So, and I want you, you will see that on this, on this schedule, you will have more relationships than sales because I want you to grow, okay? Then the other one is behind the scene. This is a big one and this is a photo of you doing something. And I, you can be asking someone to take a photo of you. You can take a photo of your desk. You can, but it's telling the story of your, how do you do your business? And it is important because again, people don't know you. They need to know you to buy. They need to know you, like you, trust you, and then buy with you. If you're just telling them, buy me, buy me, buy me, I don't know you. Why would I buy with you? Right. But so that is why we're going to go back to relationship. We're going to go back to be, you know, show to the public who we are, the way we do business and why this is a different, and then let them make a the decision why this is a different way than someone else's. Okay. Then you will have like something like silly, like this. I was like, I know I, I liked, I like to read. I have both Kindle and books. And I thought it was funny to just basically ask your audience, okay, what is your favorite? You know, and you can create this on a post and also on a story. Because by the way, a story is something that it comes out of a post because you have a part of your public that will look at the stories and never to post. And you will have people that will look to both or people that will never look to stories. So again, it's not an either or, it's an and, okay, as far as this, but the graphics will work for everything. You can just basically put it there. So again, here you have that, you know, I love reading. And then you can even ask, you know, what's your choice or what book you're reading? So it's basically, and this is the sales. This is a Saturday. So this is a sales, it's new on the market. You will put your photo here. And again, you will put the text on the notes, okay? Now, I want you to pay attention to something before I keep on going. Because by the way, this, when you do this and you receive this uh, template, please do take this out. It's basically as simple as doing that because I don't want that to be there, okay? I'm gonna put it back. But um, I want you to see the amount of text, okay? I want you to be very mindful of this because this is how much text you should have. As you can see, there is no one logo anywhere because they're in my social media. They don't need to have my logo. And Instagram do not like your logo. They don't want it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to promote your post. They don't want to put it up there if you have too much of everything. So you will need to keep complying with them to be sure that we are really uh, top of mind and that we work with the algorithm on our, you know, not against the algorithm. So, and I'm saying this because I see you and I love that you have, I mean, I see a lot of your uh, social media and um, this is done in a way that still complies with photography mainly being the, for, the main focus, um, but the text is very small for, for that intention. So, and then we have only text. As you mentioned, and as I mentioned in the, one of the first classes that I did about Canva, I told you that you can have humor, motivation, inspiration as part of having text only, okay? And in this case, it's a testimonial. Uh, I don't know how many times you have heard me, probably many times, in which I say that testimonials are crucial for your business. I'm not saying about there's an option, they're crucial. And if you say, well, Lola, I'm just brand new and I have no testimonials. So you know what? Maybe you have a testimonial about what is like someone actually working with you when you were doing something else, because that is showing your character, okay? So uh, you need to have testimonials, you need to know and, and it has to be real, it cannot be like, you know, you're making it up. Uh, and again, even if the testimonial is longer, what you're gonna do, you're gonna basically put just a few words here, the catchy part, okay? And you can develop and put the testimonial here on the bottom uh, as a comment. Well, everything that is on these notes is your comments on the post, okay? So this will come basically every Sunday. So you will, should have on your monthly, you should have four squares 
uh, with your brand color again I can come here and I can do orange you see um, but again I'm making it so when I look at this arrays of images and text it's not it's, it has a theme like what I'm saying is like I have some like there this I have here relationships again another business okay and of course the market report <laughs> the market report you guys have been doing it amazingly because I already and we created in Optima all the screenshots so you have them all in squares. Now you can keep doing it like that but you can may maybe what you can do and this is why I like it is to feature as a special your area and don't tell me that your area is the entire Miami because that's not and if it is it's like the richest is in the niches which means that you need to go deeper into an area okay instead of going broad into the world. Um, so basically because by going deeper into an area, you're going to reach the world in a way. Um, so this is already created too. So this is based on the market report. Actually, um, you can put here the city name, which in this case, if I'm not mistaken, I think was, this was kind of uh, trying to show Brickle. Um, and basically, but you can change the city. You can basically, again, change the colors, change the fonts. I think the fonts are pretty re readable, but this is one people want to know. What is the average price? How many papers have I sold? What are the active listings? And how many days on the market? If you want to put something else, please, you can come just here and just change it, okay? Then is, again, a community, name of the business, switch restaurants with shops, with, you know, places to do laundry. I mean, just mix and match everything. And of course, motivational. So motivational is about, okay, just motivation. Guys, it's like you just go to motivation quotes on Google and you will have motivation for a year. Even if you want to do one a day, you will have them there. And so, and this is something again that gives character to your page and it gives variety. We're not talking about real estate. We are engaging with the community. Okay. We want them to actually want to come to see what we're doing because we're not just selling, selling, selling all the time. So uh, again, this is something that I place here. You can change it. Basically, I can take it out, put it in, I can put it in the middle. You know, you will be able to play with this. I'm just a designer, so I did it for you prior. And this is another one. This is a, like, it was a happy hour thing. So um, again, you can either be yourself in a happy hour, have a photo, as you see, is a plane. There's no even a text here. It's just about a comment. There's a lot of photos. And then if you look at other people, you can have a, even a photo of you and saying it's Friday night. What is your favorite place for, you know, to hang out? Um, again, Saturday, our weekend is real estate weekend. So we have an open house and you will put it here. Then later in other videos, in other classes that I'm going to be teaching is how to promote this open house on social. But you need to have it. Um, Basically, very, very communi you know, communicating like this. To the question that I don't have open houses because I work condos, well, just go to the company uh, properties and you will find that we have a lot of houses there. And if those agents, for whatever reason, they're not doing open houses, this is the time to pick up the phone and say, hey, can I host an open house in your house? And that's as simple as that. You will promote it and um, then you get to an arrangement. But there's people that are not doing open houses. And that's, a, in my opinion, a humongous waste. Even um, one thing is that you cannot do open houses because of the whole COVID situation. And I understand that condos don't allow us to do open houses. But again, I'm talking about single family homes. If the single family home is unoccupied or the owner is open, please do open houses because it's a great way for you not only to sell that house, but to get new clients and new leads, okay, which is the most important thing. And we go back to testimonials and there we go. Here is one about the pet. You can include your own dog. Living in, 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 living in Brickle with our beloved four legs friends means, and then you explain something, what is your favorite plan with your pet? Again, always try to close your post with some kind of engagement. Not like saying, hey, respond to my comment, but basically ask a question and see what people, you know, what people say. Um, then again, buyer's tip. In this case, as you see, this, I put the, I put a little icon of a, of a video. This is an icon, I can put it in and out. But the idea is that, yes, video. <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? I want you guys to do video because I think it is very important that we communicate that way. Um, video is number one 
when it's live. Number two, when it's recorded. Number four, it goes for an image post. And number five is a text post. So I will keep pushing you guys until the end for video because I do want you to grow. So this is about a uh, community, it's about you know, exercising. I know that a lot of you, some of you have personal trainers, some of you do some kind of exercise in your neighborhood. Another photo of you, this is again behind the scene. So you see it has to be a lot of you, honestly, it has to be a lot of you. This is movie nights, nice. you know, you can put, you know, what is, what is cool on Netflix or, you know, and ask a question, what do you like? You like Hulu, you like Amazon Prime, you know, it's just a way to engage. All these things, guys, are mostly to inspire your brain. Let me say it like that. It's not something that you need to keep. I want you to just give you the opportunity to get, when you feel stuck, is this is to create movement. So you're not stuck into, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I really want you to, be able to have variety and just be creative, okay? Um, again, a listing, so this is a for sale. Will you, by the way, when you do the for sale, you can have a carousel, which means that you can have more photos um, and, and that way the person can have, I would like to see at least two or three because again, remember, the goal is not that they see the photos, all the photos. The goal is that they actually reach you and they say, hey, by the way, can I see the property? If I show you, 50 photos of a property on social media. Why do I even have to call you? I have no reason, right? So, but if I always keep you engaging and wanting for more, now we're having a conversation. And what I want you at the end of the day is for you guys to have a conversation. So this is about relationships. The beach is open. I think it is, I they opened yesterday. So it's basically, again, a photo like that, asking about either going to the beach or, you know, going to a boat or what do they want to do. And again, we go to the decorator tips. And, um, and again, here is a grocery, how you do your groceries. I basically put a lot in on this, but it's basically just to give you an opportunity to, you know, mess with your mind and, 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 and change things and don't have and have a reason to do it and, uh, and not keep stuck. Okay, so that's what I did it for you. Um, I'm, not, I'm gonna keep, okay, here's the one of the, for the month. So for the 4th of July, uh, on here, you can basically put all the places in which, do the research to see what is gonna happen. How is this gonna, how this 4th of July is gonna be? Like, and, and maybe this is the opportunity for you to put all the places in which they can see fireworks. Um, and this that I left here, I left with the intention on having empty ones for you to change. This is a photo, so you can either change the photo and use something else. In this case, it is a background. So if I come here and I wanna use my colors, I can come and I can totally customize it to my taste and my brand, okay? So it, now it becomes me. So, um, and I also added this too, because I, uh, we always talk about, so sh um, I think it's very important, for them to communicate what is a seller's market or a buyer's market. And uh, so I did this graph and this graph basically for you to edit it, you will click on here and you can change it every month. Like I said, this is, you can actually put here, this is was for the first four, month, four months of the year. Uh, you can divide it onto quarters and then you, you have this post every quarter. Um, and it shows basic in this case, single families, how, you know, the the the, um, the price uh, medium sales price you can do this for uh, total uh, volume of sales you can do this for listings and um, because you have this information again on the market report I'm not making you even go and do the research we did it for you okay so there are so um, much content here uh, it's been a lot of my nights on putting to this um, but I want you to see that it's possible. I want you to have it. So how does it work? So we start like wrapping around. You will receive this, okay, all this as a template. I'm gonna come here. I'm going to share as a template and I'm gonna copy the link. So now the link is copied. I'm going to do something, but I do not want you guys to go and open right now. You're gonna open later. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna paste it on the hold on can i do this give me a second i always confuse i copy i need to bring here i'm gonna put it to all i'm doing something on the chat that's why you 
uh, here. And I'm going to put it paste. There you go. OK, the link that I that I just put for private, why did I do that? OK, uh, everyone. Okay, did you guys see the one or just Paula saw the one thing that I put? Let me see. For whatever reason, I think that Paula was privately sending me things. Okay, everyone. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do it again. Paste. And now you have it. Okay. Let me see. Something is going off. Okay. I know, I know Pilar. Uh, for whatever reason, okay, everyone in the meeting, and now I'm gonna do paste. Now I did it. <laughs> okay, now the link is in the chat. Do not open please because your attention will go away. So now you have that, okay? So how do we work with this, right? Uh, because so far everything goes great, but my hour is about to expire and I want you to get the whole thing. So you're going to get that link. You're going to download it on your computer and you're going to move it hopefully to a place that is called marketing in your computer. Once you have it there, you're going to make it first your own. You're going to change the colors. You're going to change the photos. You're going to do it. You're going to make it your own. Okay. Um, what I just gave you, and you will also receive a PDF that has a calendar and has the steps how to do this. Okay, so you don't need to remember or watch the video again unless you wanted to. So what I did with this last night was just to have it here, but I want you to see. Remember, we can post everything on Instagram. So we go to create a post and here I am, I'm in Creative Studio, right? So I will come to add content and I'm going to go to the file upload and I downloaded already what did I do? Social media. This happens when you don't have it. Social, social, social. The folder was called social media. Social media summer. Let's see. Yes. So let's imagine that is that. So I'm going to go to my folder. You see why you need to have in a place that you know how to be like crazy looking for it. And you're going to come here and you're going to post. Then if you were in the here, right? I'm gonna go to that, let's imagine that was this one. It's not, but let's imagine. Uh, and I'm gonna copy my copy, right? And I'm gonna go back to the Creative Studio, put the caption and change it. And if I have the MLS, I will put beautiful property, blah, 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 da, 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 da. okay? Now I will ask the location, in this case it would be South Miami, okay? And I will here say, you see, post to Facebook. So I will click that I'm going to post it to Facebook too. And I'm going to, instead of publish, okay, I'm going to schedule it. And I'm going to say that this is, I already have something for Thursday. So this is going to be Sunday. I mean, okay, pause here. If this is an open house and I know that I'm going to do it on Sunday, awesome. If not, I just need to put the date that I'm going to do it. I'm just grabbing something. I just grabbed the wrong thing to do, but I'm just grabbing this to basically uh, do this thing this way. Um, so then if I publish, right, I schedule it, I pick the day, the time, and I, and that's it. 1 a.m. is never going to happen at 1 a.m. I'm going to delete it later, but schedule. So what I want you to see is that it is a scheduling, okay? And if you see it's Facebook, so what happens is when I go to schedule, let me see. It's not showing yet because it's on the schedule. It's gonna, it takes always some time. These things are like beautiful that way. I have to just be sure that it's gonna reload. You hear, you see, it's here. So is in this case, I'm gonna show you not all of my pages. I'm gonna show you just this one and it's there, do you see? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna do that thing over and over again. When? In an hour, that's it. You're gonna go back to create a post. You're gonna go back to that. 
you're gonna come here, you're gonna upload the file, and you're gonna probably take file number two, you're gonna choose, you're gonna put the caption, you're gonna put the location, you're gonna, do you, are you getting the idea? Can you just type in if you're getting the idea? Uh, you can keep doing this the whole time. <laughs> it's like, do copy, paste, boom, do copy, paste, boom. It's as simple as that. Honestly, guys, it is simple. I made it simple because I know that, and I'm gonna find the text here, which I have. So I come here, I select all, I copy, and I come to the Creative Studio, and I paste, and that's it. That's my post, you know? I mean, funny, right? Again, where is the location? South Miami, why? Because I am South Miami. So it is simple, it's not complicated. You just need to schedule and to have the post in order so you will be able to schedule, 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 and it will show up on both. You have not to do a thing, okay? Uh, the one thing that you will probably have to do is that you will have to, uh, you can even save it as a draft, which I can do that. And, uh, and then later you will be able to come here and see, you know, all my posts. These are the ones containing photos. These are the ones can have videos. This is my carousel. These are my stories. And I even, you can even look at IGTV. So, uh, this is the class, um, that it will literally, oh, by the way, um, since I saw that some of you put this, um, yes, it is for business Facebook, but no, let me show you, uh, so answer your questions, guys, how can you get to Creative Studio? Because you have it on the video, that tells me that you didn't see the video, I sent two videos. One video was about um, creating a, bill, um, a, a business page, and the other one was about, um, Hold on, let me do this this way. So I show you how you get there, how you get here. Where's me? Here. Okay, so if I go to my Facebook, right? This is my Facebook. So let me show you how you create, to, how you make it to create a studio, okay? So you go to your pages because this little thing is pages, okay? So you go to your pages and you're gonna choose, self, I mean, in this case, I'm gonna choose this one. I have a lot of pages that I have to handle and I'm here. So this is my page, you see? Okay, so now I go to publishing tools, okay, here inside my page. And once I'm here, I come all the way to create a studio and voila, you are in create a studio. As simple as that. So, um, Yep, it's very simple. So here is where you have your accounts. Like, be sure that when you're working, if you have more than one account, that you're working on the account that you need to work, okay? So um, I hope this class, let me stop sharing. There you go. I hope you learned something new. Uh, hopefully, yes. Um, this is a time saver. The class today was about saving time. How can I make my day and my social posting more productive? Okay. Um, yes, the class is being recorded. Uh, the next one is going to be on, again, remember when you're going to be doing videos, you can do exactly the same thing. You will be able to upload them. I will be doing a, you can do live videos. You can do IGTV videos. Um, I, will give, I will keep going deeper into all this new strategy, but I want to, for you guys to have a starting point. My next videos are going to be on how to create funnels and how to drive advertising. And this is why I need you to do this. Because a lot of you have asked about advertising on Facebook. Some of you probably have a company. Some of you might do it. A lot of you have no freaking clue. So one thing I just learned is that we can spread it in the way that we communicate. We can be promoting our business as a business and using posts that relate to community, to events and things like that. And those are open to the world. We have no restrictions on those. Those are amazing to promote, even though they're not an open house because they will make people to like our page and to come and be you know, there for, our to for us to nurture them. And then eventually they will become our clients, okay? Because that's the way. Social media is an entry point for you to nurture relationships though so they transform in clients. That does not mean they are not doing uh, cold call. Does that not mean they're not knocking on doors? This does not mean that you're not doing anything else that you're doing. This is just an end 
which is very important that you do. This is not a something that way, well, I don't like to do that. Whoever is staying today in this time and era, I don't do social media because I don't like it. What can I say? Um, I don't wanna be the bad guy on the picture, but yeah, it's just simply you need to get up with the program and do. So if you don't master this first, there's no point on me talking about Facebook advertising because you're gonna be lost in translation. So this is why I'm gonna give you at least a month, yes, a month, for you to play with it. You're gonna have another class, but the, the one about advertising and how to advertise your real estate and your relationship and community so we reach what we need to reach with the restrictions that we have as agents and we can reach whoever we want because we have no restrictions when we reach and we're not an agent or portraying ourselves as agents in that moment. Um, that will be uh, something that for you to be able to do that, you will have to have a monthly post on your social media. So um, this is why I gave you this gift. So all this month, you have time to work. You have actually not a month because you can do this as I showed you in a day. You just sit there and just do it, okay? Change the photos, change the copy, make it your own, change the colors, visit the class on Canva and how to brand it for you. I will be doing a class on branding and that's totally different. And that will be probably in 10 days you will have a class on branding and I will work on Canva, of course, and I will talk about the specifics of a brand and things like that so you can have and start branding your own brand too. So uh, any questions? If you have questions, I have five minutes uh, so I don't go much over the hour. And um, if you don't have questions, I will stop the recording. And thank you for all the messages. Um, What does it say here? Facebook or Instagram is recorded. So Ricardo, I hope I answered your question about the Creative Studio page. Uh, you can access that when you're in your page. So um, my pleasure. I'm happy uh, to have you here, guys. Thank you for your time. I really uh, enjoy giving you all this content. I do think that we are, um, in a very important moment and that you guys are doing great. This is just for you to not be stuck with social media or technology and to really keep reminding yourselves that we need to make a different approach. We need to start building relationships. I mean, this is one thing that have all this situation, the COVID situation has taught us is that we need to build relationships. And um, always think that uh, when you give content to people and when you engage with businesses, if you know by interviewing them uh, i was on i was on my private coaching the other day talking about if you go to your favorite restaurant if you go to the el mercadito whatever mercadito i mean patagonia i mean i live in i mean i'm from argentina right so in the area i have graciano if i go there and I interview the guy and i say hey i can i interview you i want to ask a video do a video about what is the best meat for your barbecue this sunday i just have to go there with my camera, my tripod, talk to the guy, say, hey, do you have five minutes? He's gonna be very friendly. Put the tripod, have a conversation with him, record it, boom, put it, that's it. Awesome, right? Um, you can be very, very, um, and it's about practice. It's about getting out there. It's just about engaging. And what? When I can hashtag Gracianos on my post, guess what's happened? Hashtagging is huge. I didn't even, I didn't even talk about hashtagging today, I'm gonna make a small note before you guys start flying. Um, I did a post on my page, right? And I did all these posts, South Miami living, uh, Florida. I mean, I went to, you know, all, I mean, probably on, on local, uh, like 25 posts, um, different hashtags, okay? Um, and I put my post. Out of the thousand and something reach, 300 and something, like 30%, were from hashtags, people that have never ever seen me before. Okay, that's organic, okay? That's what you do. Hashtagging is what brings people organically to your page. We're gonna be talking, and this is why I need you to do this first step first, because, and you know it, there's no free candy. I mean, social media is really cheap, but we're gonna be talking in the future, and this is why I'm gonna be teaching you how to do Facebook advertising correctly. We're gonna be talking about investing in you okay so um so you can keep growing so thank you very much um i already have signed for canvas da, da, da. 
Yes, once your, your template always will be in my account. Yes, your templates will be in my account. What I recommend, in if you case the template, so it should not change, save it as and put a, your name, just put save, you know, post for the life or whatever, but save it as something, make a copy and keep it forever. <laughs> so just change it every month. You change it every month, you change the photos, but um, it's just to give you an idea, okay? Uh, thank you much for attending. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in coaching next week, whoever is coaching with me. And if not, I'll see you in the next class. Bye, guys.